Hello everybody. In today's tutorial, what we'll be doing is a book cover. Now in this case, a children's uh, storybook cover. Okay, this is how it's going to look. So in order to do a book cover in Canva, what you can do is you go to home here. Okay, now we're going to do this. We're going to recreate this, but on a on the a pixel size uh, of a book cover. All right. So we go to home. Okay, we click home and we go to this side. Now there are a lot of templates you can look all over here. There's video, YouTube banner, YouTube thumbnail, infograph, book cover. Okay, here you have a book cover. Okay, so let's just click on that and you have a blank book cover. So what it's going to do is actually also bring up a lot of templates. Okay, so you can choose one of these templates. Let's say you want to choose that one. But we're not doing that today. What we're going to do today is our own. Okay, so for this, uh, our own design. So since it's a, um, a children's one, I decided to do, let's say, a bunny. Okay, so what I got was this one. So that's there. We will change the colors and all later. So then I got a basket, which this was the one that I got. Then with bunny, what do you usually look for? Um, carrots, possibly carrots. So okay, so carrots. Now, all of these are graphics. They are not. Um, Photos because this is what I want. I want the graphics. Okay. Okay, I got this one. So I click the see all. Okay, you can choose whatever you want. So in this case, I've chosen that one. I've chosen choose um, this one. Maybe one more, which would be this. So what I'll do is I'll just put them in the basket. Bring them. And just move them a bit. And position them backward so they're in the basket. Same as this. Make this a bit. Just move it a bit. Backwards, backwards again, so goes behind there, and this one. So just adjust this one to move it in here, move up the position, and backward. So just for spaces, guys, make the basket a bit bigger. So then what you can do is you can uh, highlight all of this, right, and group them so that it doesn't you know, separate. This one is another one. You can just, I want to change the color. Remember I said, you know, it's best to change the colors. So for the years, let me choose something that's uh, pink, maybe. Okay. And then for the flowers, instead of that blue. Orange and then the, the the body a yellowish color, but I want to go a bit lighter. So I just go up to the plus sign here, and then I can adjust this to be lighter or darker. So I can just do that. So that's that. Then you have the background. Um, for the background, you can choose whatever you want. So what I wanted was like a, a farm road. And of course I look for graphics. And what I got was this one. And post it here. Now, 
let me just position it backwards. Again, backwards, so that's really at the back. And then I'll just around. Now, if you can see, the background is white. So I will place a skew light. So what do I do? I go to the plus sign. Let me just change it to blue. Okay, I'll just leave it that way. And this one, I can make it down a bit. Next, I can move this one like this. Let's move it down here. Next, I can do a heading. And the heading that I chose, okay, I got the text. And then I did add a heading. So for this one, I just added, I just made it up, the bunny. And I will be doing it twice. So I put one down and another one. And what I put here was ND. So because of the carrots here, I just did it as. Uh, Talking carrots. Okay. So the bunny, and the carrots. Now, what I wanted to do was make it make um, the font look a bit more. Um, I wouldn't say childlike, but make it a bit more. It, it let it seem like as if it's. Like, a chill, uh, like something a children's writing, so that's the talking carrot. And the but the bunny, I did it more like you can do that if you want. But I did that the bunny. So those Arabic script. Okay, so it's pretty easy. And this one, I wanted it to come out, uh, you know, stand out a bit more. So what I did was I went to the effects, and I did splice, uh, put the offset as zero. But instead of gray, um, you can choose any color you want for it to stand out. So I kind of did a blue, just to make it stand out a bit. Okay. And if you see the previous one that I did. Okay, you see the previous one that I did because it was a different dimension measurements, it turned out this way. Okay, now I like this color here, uh, the background. So, what I can do is now I did a gradient here as well. So, I'm going to move that and look at the background. I'll click that, and then what I'll do is I'll go to the plus. You can do it for any, any Canva design that you've done. You just go and you click. So, that is the color. So, I'll just Copy it, okay? Then I'll go back to this, and this color, what I'll do is, I'll go to the plus sign, and I will paste this one. So that's the color. So if you look here again, it says, so th this is the, the gradient. I did it because without that, the, the title seemed to kind of blend in with the cover. So with this, it kind of stands out a bit more. So how we do that is you go back here, right? And you can adjust it. Now if you look here, the, the, the bunny kind of blends in with the road, right? So you don't want that. So let's choose, um, you want white. 
and just keep it as white. Okay. And you go back to elements, okay, and what you do is you go and look for transparency, uh, transparency gradient, whatever color. I chose white. Okay. So I've got the transparency gradient white. And there are quite a few you can choose. So what I've done is I have chosen which one did I choose? I think I chose this one. Now this is pro. I have a pro version. Um, you you would have to look for one that is free. And if you can't, you go to a site like Pixabay and look for it there. And then you have to download it and then upload it back here. So now this is here. Okay. So if you see the difference now, you see the title, it kind of blends in, right? But if you put that there, okay, and you, you can bring it to here, okay. so it's kind of a, a gradient look, right? And because it's on top, so right now what you what you want to do, okay, leave it like that. But what you can do, if you look carefully, there is a slight mark there, right? So, with that gradient, you can bring down the transparency or you can bring it back. So, let's put it to about here. Okay? And let's position it backward. Now, you want to position it backward because you don't want the transparency on top of the words. You want it at the back. Okay? So now if you look, it's, it stands out. Now, if you have a book and it's, let's say, for on Amazon, this would be the size of the book. So you would, the you know, the, the, the small icons they have. So you, you would need to choose a font that will stand out, colors that would stand out, and so on. So in this case, maybe the rabbit could be up here to stand up, stand out more. Or this one here, you know. Or you can change, you can edit the image. So you click that and you edit. Now this one is the basket. You can choose the basket to be purple so that it stands out. Or perhaps this color. So let's let's bring it back up a bit. Okay. That's a nice color. Kind of stands out as well. And smaller, you can make the rabbit, the bunny, bigger. And this one here. So then you bring it back down again, and you look at it, and you say, okay, the bunny and the talking carrot. You can adjust this. Next, you want to do the author. Okay, let's say you have the author. Just let's pick a name. Third. And you come here. Okay. You can change the, the font if you want to. Say you want to change it to handwriting. That's good. So that's that. So that's the author. Now, another thing that I did was I did. So this is assuming it's the bunny series. So you might have a story that has 
the bunny and the talking carrots, the bunny and the playful kittens, or something like that. Okay, so what I did then was you can let's first smaller. Bunny series. So got the bunny and the talking carrots by Angela Bird. And there you go. It's very simple. So now you've got the the cover of a book of a children's storybook. You know, you can change the colours around. Like the the bunny maybe maybe you want a, a pink bunny with ears that are blue. You want it as pink. And yes, could be red. Again, you can change the red. Let's say you want it. You can change it around. You know, it's up to you. That's that's what I like about this because you can change it with the click of a mouse. Maybe you want a a rabbit. Any color you want. A blue rabbit. Okay. There you go. So I hope you like this. Um, you know, you can create anything you want. Your imagination is there for you. Be as creative as you want. And change it around though. Because like I said, this is, you know, uh, Canva, many people are using it. So this one, you can just remember the background. You can change it as well. Now the thing with this back, this kind of background, when you change the image, if you look here, it kind of makes it all the same sort of color, and maybe that's not what you want. See, this is a, a different sort of color, right? You want something that's um, brighter. Then that's it. Then you you might need to change this as well because now it sort of blends in. So keep that in mind. When you change the background, you might need to change the color of the elements as well. And so that's something that you need to keep in mind when you do these kind of um, backgrounds, color changes, image changes, and things like that. Okay, so I hope you like it. If you did, please do subscribe, uh, comment, and let me know if you want to see anything in particular. Bye.